This video, we're going to be talking about Aegon IV, also known as Aegon the Unworthy. This is in a long line of Targaryen history videos, so if you haven't seen those, I would watch them first and then come back to this video so it makes a little more sense. Aegon IV, or Aegon the Unworthy, was the 11th Targaryen king to rule Westeros. He was the eldest child of Viserys II, the 10th king of Westeros. He came to the throne in 172 AC after his father died of a sudden illness after ruling the realm for little over a year. Many believe that Aegon IV coveted the throne so much, he poisoned his father, Viserys II, so that he could be crowned king faster. Aegon IV was an uncontrollable man. He was ruled by pleasures. Gluttony, lust, and desire ruled him his entire time as king, even to his youth. He surrounded himself at court with men who flattered and praised him. He also filled his court with women who would allow them to use their bodies. Aegon IV was very fickle, and he often took from those that had things he wanted, or took from others to give it to those that flattered or pleased him. Aegon never spent a night alone, and it is believed that he slept with over 900 women by the time he died. Of all these women, he only loved nine of them, not including his wife Nerys, and they were known as his nine mistresses, which we'll talk about at the end of this video. Princess Dana, the Defiant, was not included as a mistress. Dana was the eldest sister of Daron I and Balar the Blessed. When Balar came to the throne, he locked his three sisters, including Dana, in a maiden vault. Aegon IV visited her a few times and helped her escape at least once. During one visit, he got her pregnant. Dana would later give birth to a child named Prince Daemon in 170 AC. First thought a bastard by the realm when Dana wouldn't name the father. However, Aegon often remarked how Daemon was growing and ended up knighting him at the age of 12, which was a little suspicious and most of the realm pretty much knew Aegon was the father of Dana's child. At the age of 12, though, he was knighted, which did currently make him the youngest knight to be knighted in the realm thus far. Aegon IV also went so far as to give him the sword of Aegon the Conqueror, Blackfire. This led Daemon to taking the last name, Blackfire. During this time, and in fact he, way before he got Dana pregnant, he was actually already married to his frail, gentle sister, Neri. He was married to her in 153 AC when his father, Viserys II, ordered Aegon to marry her. This caused a bit of a trouble since Aegon IV's younger brother, Aemon the Dragon Knight, loved his sister and Neri's really loved him. Regardless of any of the siblings' wishes, the wedding took place in 153 AC with rumors that both Aemon and the Dragon Knight and Nerys cried either during the ceremony or betting. And in late 153 AC, Nerys gave birth to Prince Darren. The Maesters warned Aegon IV that another pregnancy might kill his frail sister Nerys, and it is rumors, rumored that Nerys came to her husband brother Aegon IV and said, I have done my duty by you and given you an heir. I beg you, let us live henceforth as brother and sister. To which Aegon coldly responded, that is what we are doing, and continued to force Nerys into her wifely duties. This treatment of Nerys caused issues with his younger brother Aemon, who loved her dearly. The Dragon Knight was everything Aegon wasn't, noble, brave, and celebrated it by all. This made Aegon IV a little bit jealous, since he constantly wanted all the attention, love, and praise. When Sir Morgul claimed that Queen Nerys was unfaithful to Aegon, and the King's child Darren was a bastard, Aemon fought Sir Morgul in a trial by combat for his sister's honor and won. Many think Aegon IV put Sir Morgul up to this since the claim's illegitimacy often coincided with Aegon IV and his son Darren fighting. These fights were often about Dorne. Aegon IV wanted to launch an unprovoked attack against Dorne and kind of had this whole glory idea of following through with what King Darren did, but Aegon's son Darren, who was married to Princess of Dorne and good friends with the Prince of Dorne, fought him on it and said this is a really bad idea and you're not going to do it and I'm not going to let you. Many times Aegon IV threatened to give the throne to one of his bastards when Darren fought him on these issues. Things became worse when the Dragon Knight and King's brother Aemon died stopping an assassination of the king. Without fear of the Dragon Knight, Aegon let the threats and rumors spread. And really, when his brother died, didn't really do anything to honor him and still just smeared his name and smeared his sister's name. 
Aegon also continued the mistreatment of his wife Nerys during this time and even before that. She had several more troubled pregnancies. During Baelor the Blessed rule, Nerys gave birth to and lost twins. She then got pregnant again in 161 AC and almost died. At that time, King Baelor sent Aegon to Braavos on a diplomacy mission to give her time to recover. In 172 AC, when, so when Aegon IV was finally king, Nerys finally gave birth to a daughter named Daenerys. She then would die after another failed childbirth a year after her brother, the Dragon Knight, died saving Aegon IV. And he continued to drag her and his name through the mud. So when his wife and brother were gone, he was free to be as malicious as he wanted to his son Darren and spread all the rumors he wanted and just be a, basically a terrible person. And this got to the point where people started to take sides. There were those that were rewarded greatly by Aegon IV, so of course they stayed with him. And there were others that were getting tired of Aegon and his gluttony and misrule, and they sided with Darren. Because they could have wealth, and then if Aegon decided that he wanted it, he could take it away. And there was extra... There have been times where somebody got married and died on their wedding night, and then that gold became Aegon the Force. So people started to get pretty upset. And despite all the people siding with Darren, the one thing that kept Aegon the Fourth from ever truly taking away Darren's inheritance of the throne was Dorne. He knew that the Prince of Dorne, his son's friend, would go to war to defend his son's rights. Which, by extension, is also defending the rights of any of the nieces or nephews that he had since his sister is married to Darren. This mostly made his hate for Dorne grow, and started Aegon's scheming. In 174 AC, Aegon IV sent a huge fleet towards Dorne, but it was broken and scattered by storms on its way to Dorne. He also hired pyromancers to build him dragons, big wooden and iron dragons that had pumps in them to shoot wildfire. He meant to send them through the bone way, but they didn't even make it past the king's wood. One dragon went up flame, and then the rest followed, burning all seven dragons, killing hundreds of men, and destroying a quarter of the king's woods. At this point, the king pretty much gave up, never mentioned Dorn again, and just kind of just let it go. Finally, after tons of misrule, Taking advantage of women sleeping with the Lord's wives, daughters, sisters, it didn't matter. Taking gold from people, killing families in order to take their gold. Aegon passed away in 184 AC. He had become so fat his legs couldn't support his weight. He was stuck on a couch covered in his own feces. He died swollen, obese with rotted limbs crawling with flesh worms. The maesters claimed they had never seen such a thing, and Septon's thought it was God's will for his lifestyle and misrule. His last act before his death was his will, which legitimized every bastard child that he mentioned in this will. This would lead to so much pain and grief for the realm, and so many Blackfire rebellions would occur as his bastards tried to seize the throne. I'm going to end this video with talking about his nine mistresses. The first mistress that he truly loved was Lady Stokeworth. She was the first person to make him a man, quote unquote, in 149 AC when he was 14 years old. When the Kingsguard discovered them in 151 AC, Lady Stokeworth was married off and she ended up relocating to Harrenhal. However, over the next two years, Aegon IV often visited Harrenhal to see Lady Stokeworth. Next most loved of nine mistresses of Aegon IV was Mary Meg. She was the young wife of a blacksmith. He was riding near Fair Market in 155, and his horse ended up throwing a shoe, and he got it repaired at the blacksmith and he ended up seeing her and ended up paying her husband to take her back to King's Landing. They got wed, quote unquote, in a secret ceremony. And she actually ended up giving him four bastards. Alison, Lily, Willow, and Rosie. Eventually, Aegon the Force father saw it and or figured it out, put an end to it, and ended up sending her 
back to her husband, the blacksmith, while putting her daughters with the faith to be trained as septas. Um, the woman was ended up being beaten to death in a year by her husband, the blacksmith. Next was Lady Casella. She was actually one of the noble Dornish people that were taken as hostage when Darren the First went to take Dorn, and Egg on the Fourth ended up taking her and making her his lover. And then when they said, hey, we're going to kill all these people, the hostages, when they ended up killing Darren, he turned her over without even a second thought and was like, yep, all right, bye. She ended up returning to Dorne, though, because they ended up not killing the hostages because of Balar's declaration. And she never remarried. She died of old age. And even in her old age, swore that any day Aegon IV would come for her and that she was his true love. Authoress, or the Black Pearl of Bravos. So you remember when I said in 161 AC, Queen Neris almost died during childbirth, and King Balor ended up sending Aegon to Bravos for a diplomatic mission. He ended up meeting the Black Pearl of Bravos, and they actually had an affair for over 10 years, even though it said that she had a husband in every port, so she didn't really care. But she did end up giving him three kids in that decade. Belinora, Nara, and Balerion. Le Next would be Lady Barbara Bracken. Aegon IV became totally entranced with her, and when he got to the throne in 172 AC, he named her father as Hand of the King. And she actually bore him a bastard a fortnight before another set of twins, a stillborn boy and girl, Daenerys, was the only one that survived, was delivered by Queen Nerys. With Nerys close to death and lingering there, the Hand of the King, so Lady Barbara Bracken's father, tried to scheme to get her married to Aegon IV next before the Queen was even dead. And then when Nerys ended up surviving, it caused a huge scandal and he had to be dismissed as Hand of the King, and she and the bastard child was sent away. The bastard boy was known as Agor Rivers, but later became known as Bittersteel. Next would be Lady Melissa Blackwood. She was actually really kind-hearted. She was very sweet. She was actually really liked by the Dragon Knight and by Queen Aerys herself. She was beautiful. She just was bountiful. So she was a really nice woman, and she was around for about five years, and she bore the king three bastards. Maya, Gwenys, and Brandon, also known as Blood Raven. Next mistress would be Lady Bethany Bracken. She was actually the younger sister of Lady Barbara, so they were scheming again. Lord Bracken, Lady Barbara Bracken were grooming her younger sister to misplace the Melissa Blackwood, the kind-hearted girl, and become the new mistress. In 177 AC, she actually caught his eye and went back to King's Landing and was his mistress, but she wasn't exactly happy with his embrace and started cheating on him with a knight of the King's Guard. She was eventually discovered in 178 AC, and the King's Guard herself and her father were executed and tortured. Eventually, the brothers of the Kingsguard would try to avenge this death, and this is when Prince Aemon, the second brother, ends up dying, um, trying to save his brother from the assassination attempt, and he succeeds, but Aemon himself ends up dying. Lady Jane Lothston, she was actually the daughter of Lady Lothston, so Lady Stokesworth in the beginning, his first mistress, who, you know, supposedly made a man out of him. Lady Jane was the daughter of her, and Jane was brought to court in 178 AC when she was 14, and Aegon made Lord Lawston his new hand, and there were some rumors that Aegon IV took not only Lady that he first lost her his virginity to and his and her daughter Lady Jane Lawston in bed at the same time, but it was never proved. However, eventually he would give Lady Jane the pox, which he caught from horrors he had been seen, and the Lostons were never seen again. They were taken away out of court. Last was Sereny of Lys, and she was the most beautiful of all the mistresses, and she was supposedly a sorceress and said to be the last woman that Aegon IV 
ever loved. She ended up dying during childbirth, giving the last bastard to Aegon IV, called Shira Seastar, and she is said to be the most beautiful woman in all the Seven Kingdoms, and loved by her half-brothers Bittersteel and Bloodraven, and that rivalry would eventually cause hatred and problems, but in general, most beautiful in the realm. So those were his nine most loved mistresses. Next week, we're going to be talking about the 12th king of Western Daron II, so make sure you like and subscribe and come back next Sunday for our next Game of Thrones video.